Last year about this time, I did an automation using a smart app called Echo Speaks. When available, the Echo Speaks app provided SmartThings and Habitat users the ability to remotely wake up Echo devices and to speak any custom phrases in response to almost any given scenario. When SmartThings transitioned to the new app, they announced that the Echo Speaks app would no longer be supported. With the elimination of Echo Speaks, I lost some pretty good automations. One of those automations was a routine that I used my Echo Dot to verbally announce water leaks upon the detection of moisture. To check the sump pump next to the washer for a possible water leak and potential flooding. Today I will demonstrate the recreation of that automation and show you how to get it set up in the new SmartThings app. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Bud from Bud's Home Automation, and today I'm gonna to show you how to enable verbal announcements on your Echo Voice Assistant whenever moisture is detected by your SmartThings water leak sensor. But before I show you the automation, allow me to review the components needed to get it set up. This automation requires that you have a home internet provider and a SmartThings hub, which is connected to your home router, either via ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. You must also have a compatible water leak sensor paired with your SmartThings hub. You will also need either a SmartThings compatible speaker or an Echo device like an Echo Dot or an Echo Show. Today I'm going to be using the SmartThings water leak sensor and I'll also be using an Echo Show 8. Finally, assuming that you do not have a SmartThings compatible speaker, you're also going to need to create a simple virtual switch in the SmartThings IDE. Some of you who regularly watch my channel have likely already set up a device handler using Brian Pieron's virtual switch. If so, all you need to do is create a new device in your SmartThings app using the switch under the device tab in the SmartThings Integrated Developers Environment or IDE. If you have not set up the device handler using Brian's virtual Alexa switch, you can find complete instructions for creating this switch in my video titled Use SmartThings to Make Echo Announcements. There's a link above in the upper right hand corner of your screen that'll help you get to that video. I'll also provide you the raw GitHub code that is needed to create the device handler. Just look for those links in the description below this video or my former video. Once the virtual switch is created as a new device handler, it'll display as a new device in your SmartThings app. You'll then use the switch in the setup of the SmartThings home monitor so that the switch can be closed whenever a water leak is detected. The switch, which we'll call water sensor switch, will also be available in the Miss A app. We'll use that virtual switch in a Miss A routine to verbally announce that the water leak was detected. Before I show you this automation in action, I want you to note that the water leak sensor switch at the bottom right hand side of my mobile device is in the open position and the water leak sensor is displayed to the left of the virtual switch. When the water leak sensor detects moisture, the water sensor switch will close. The closing of this switch will trigger a routine in the Miss A app. To demonstrate the automation, I'll now place the SmartThings water leak sensor in a small amount of water. Okay, here's the SmartThings sensor. It has detectors on the top as well as the bottom. So we're gonna set this in very shallow water. So there's the notice. Check the sump pump next to the washer for a potential water leak. Okay, and you see on the bottom of the app there, the water leak sensor showing wet. Check the sump pump next to the washer for a potential water leak and also that water sensor switch is closed. Check the sump pump next to the washer for a potential water leak. All right, you should see the sensor open. The sensor switch is open now. I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss this by hitting the red dismiss button. 
hit OK. And then I'm simply going to take the sensor out and put it on a dry paper towel. And it should go back to normal, which it did. It's showing that the water leak sensor is dry. OK, now let's get into the setup. The setup of this automation will vary depending on if you have a SmartThings compatible speaker or if you plan to use an Echo device to make the announcement as I demonstrated today. If you have a SmartThings compatible speaker, you're going to tap on the SmartThings home monitor. Next, tap on the gear icon. Tap on the word leaks. Then in the following screen, you want to tap on set up leak sensors. You'll select your SmartThings compatible motion sensor here, then tap done, and then tap done a second time. Now you want to tap on set response. Now assuming that you have a SmartThings compatible speaker, you may now select play audio notifications, then select the appropriate speaker and tap done. Now in the list, you see my dome siren in the list of available speakers. However, that device does not have the capability to make verbal messages. To make verbal messages, you would need a Sonos or a Bose compatible speaker. However, even though I cannot make uh, messages through my dome alarm and use it as a speaker, I will select it so that I may show you the steps that you need to take to set up your SmartThings compatible speaker. Before exiting the speaker selection screen, I just wanted to mention that if you have multiple smart speakers, you can select more than a single speaker to play your notifications. With your speaker or speakers selected, tap done. Now you want to tap on the notification sound selection, then tap the read message aloud option. Now you simply type the announcement that you'd like to make under the heading message. Here you'll see the default message stating moisture detected. Once you type over that and put in your chosen message, you simply tap on done. You'll note in the following screen here that you can choose the voice style, either male or female, and you can also indicate the specific volume that you want to set for your speakers. Once all your preferences are set, you can tap done and back out to the main menu of the SmartThings app. Now, let's look at the setup if you do not have a SmartThings compatible speaker. If you do not have a speaker, you'll first need to follow the instructions in the aforementioned video to create that device handler that I talked about. And you do that in the SmartThings IDE. Once that device handler is set up, then you'll click on the Devices tab and you'll set up a virtual switch. Let me show you how to set up the virtual switch. All right, let's go ahead and set up that new device. To do that, you want to sign in with your Samsung account. All right, so let me show you here. Here is that simulated uh, Miss A switch. And uh, this is what you're going to be looking for when you set up your device. There are complete instructions in the other video on how to get to this step where you have this set up in My Device Handlers. Uh, so check out that video if you haven't set this up. It's fairly easy to do. I even provided a link to the raw code that you just paste in here uh, so that you can get this set up. So once you set up the device handler, then you have to set up the device that's going to show up in the uh, SmartThings app under the device list. So if I go into my devices, you see all these devices are the devices that are showing up in my device list on my, um, on my iPhone. So the one we want to set up is down here, water leak sensor switch, you see right here. So let's go into this water sensor switch. I just want to show you what's in here. This is the information that you'll put in your switch. I put a hyphen on the end of the name and label uh, so that I could create another switch uh, so I'm not replicating this. But the important thing is that the type that you're going to select is that simulated Alexa switch, which we just created in the device handler. So let's show you how to do this. I'm going to uh, go ahead and go out of this by going up to my devices and I'm going to create a new device. 
also click on new device that's up in the upper right hand corner when you get in here uh, we're going to call this uh, the water sensor switch as i mentioned before and i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to paste that same thing as the label so you'll call this water sensor switch and the label is what shows up inside your smart things app nothing needs to go into the zigbee id as for uh, the device network ID you see here I create uh, switches in sequence you cannot use the same network ID some people have indicated in the comments that they get errors at this point you'll get an error if you replicate or use the same device network ID so I'm going to change this to uh, number four so hyphen four so this is my echo switch number four. It really doesn't matter what you call it. Just make sure you're not replicating any of the other formerly used device network IDs. Uh, I'm gonna look for my uh, virtual Alexa switch or simulated switch. And there it is in the list. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna leave this on published. I'm gonna select my home hub for the location and for the hub. The group we can set in inside the SmartThings app. So I'm gonna ahead and create this even though I have already created another switch just to show you that it's gonna come over to the SmartThings app. Okay, anytime you create a new device in the SmartThings IDE, that new device will display in the SmartThings device list on your mobile device. In our case, we created the water sensor switch. So as you viewed in the demonstration that I showed you, I have included my water sensor switch in my basement group. Now it's just a matter of using that switch within the water leak section of the SmartThings Home Monitor so that the switch will be closed anytime moisture is detected by the water leak sensor. To do the setup, you follow the previous explained steps. First, you tap on the SmartThings Home Monitor, then tap on the gear icon Next, tap on the word leaks, and then in the following screen, you want to tap on set up leak sensors. Again, you'll select your SmartThings compatible moisture sensor. Then you want to tap done and tap done a second time. Now tap set response, but this time, instead of selecting play audio notifications, you're going to tap on select device. In the following screen, select the water sensor switch that we just created. Then you'll tap done, and then back out to the main menu of the SmartThings app. Now it's just a matter of creating a routine in your Miss A app. So let's go ahead and open the Amazon Miss A app. Okay, here we are in the Miss A app. We're gonna go ahead and hit on more, which is located in the lower uh, right-hand corner. Then we find routines in the list and click on routines. All right, I already have this water leak announcement in here. We're gonna go ahead and replicate that. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign at the top upper right hand corner. Uh, we're gonna call this WLS for water leak sensor, hit done, next. All right, when this happens, hit on the plus sign next to that and what we want to do is go into smart home and we want to find that water leak sensor switch so it's called water sensor switch we'll click on that all right we want to leave that as closed and hit next so when that switch closes then we want a number of things to happen the first action we want is well let's go into uh, device settings you see device settings there with a speaker next to it let's click on that First thing we want to do is stop audio, then we're going to change the volume. So stop audio first, hit next. Alexa will stop the audio and then uh, hit next. All right, add. And then we want to go to device settings a second time. This time we're going to select volume. We're going to bring that all the way up to 100, hit next. Okay. Now we want to um, add a sound. 
I used a sound. This is optional. You don't need to use this, but I used a, a little buzzer to kind of get attention. So we'll go into bells and buzzer and select buzzer. And the next action we're going to add, we we'll hit the plus sign again, is the message, the custom message. So we'll click on Alexa says. And uh, we'll do customized. And let's say leak detected. All right, hit next. Next again. And then this is where we put in the delay. So there's a five second delay. We'll hit plus. If you go down, you'll see a little time clock there, which says wait, tap on that. Zero that out and leave it at five seconds. Hit next. So this is the sequence so far. And if you want to do like I did and repeat the buzzer sound and the statement leak detected, uh, you'll simply add those just like I did after the wait five seconds. So it'll be play buzzer, leak detected, wait five seconds, play buzzer, leak detected, wait five seconds. And then when you put it in as many times as you want, you'll have one more action that you must take and so let's add action again by hitting the plus sign now this is this action is necessary to reset the switch so we're going to look for smart home there it is in the list we'll click on that all right all devices we'll scroll all the way down till we find our switch and there it is water sensor switch in the list we'll click on that and this time we're gonna leave it on. On will actually open that switch so that it's reset, so that the next time we have a leak, uh, that switch will be ready to perform. So hit next. You'll see that the sequence is out of order. That water sensor switch went to the top of the list, so we need to click on that. You just press and hold, and we'll move that all the way down to the bottom of the sequence. And then the last thing we need to do is choose the device in which all this is going to happen on. For me, I'm going to do this on the Echo Show. Once you've done that, you can hit save. And it says routine created successfully and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. Hey, I trust that you enjoyed this video. If this information helped you in any way, please smash that thumbs up icon. That will tell YouTube algorithms that it was a good video and more people should see it. If you'd like to see more of this guy, then hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding that bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified whenever I upload videos. Thanks for hanging with me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next home automation episode. Until then, keep automating and God bless.